Cleanup underway in neighborhoods all across the city and beyond after yesterday's massive downpour. On the west side, some residents spent the day clearing out flooded basements. WGN's Brona Tumblety is in Austin with details. Brona. Good evening, guys. We're actually on the north side of the city right now, but we were in Austin a little earlier. People we spoke with just focusing on fixing up their homes. Several inches of rain over a very short span of time yesterday, just overwhelming aging infrastructure right around the city. But while we were there, a very unexpected visitor showed up. I've never seen a flood like this. Makia Alexander woke up Sunday to the sight of her belongings swimming around the basement. I was on the third stair um, and it was just just in water, just, and we were so stunned, shocked. In shock, but scrambling to save the family photos. I risked it, I like climbed on the couch and like tiptoed over and tried to get what I could get. They're intact, albeit damp, but so much damage has been done. The water got up to about right here. Not just here, but in many of her neighbors' homes as well. But as we sat to chat with others, someone else showed up. The mayor is here. I gotta go. Okay. He's right across the street. Okay. Y'all should come too. So we did. I want the people of Chicago to know that they voted for someone who cares and who loves them. And so when 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 our neighbors are hurting, we're all are hurting. And he also got an earful from those who are hurting. Look at us. Look at us. 1987 is the last time this kind of rainfall has come because we have very poor infrastructure. Infrastructure is certainly something that needs more scrutiny. There is the will to eradicate the problem, to solve the problem, to meet people at their point of need, to go through the necessary paperwork to make sure that people find relief. Newly elected Cook County Commissioner Tara Stamps also recognizing a lot of elderly people live here and likely need extra assistance. I'd like that the mayor came down and is going door to door and that's, that's wonderful for people to see that. But once he leaves, these people still have a cleanup operation. They on. do, so he's um, leveraging his power as the, as the chief um, to get streets and sand out here, to provide support, to get the dumpsters, to get aid, to get people over here to help seniors. That includes folks like Audrey Brown and Essie Gilmore. We had a little water maybe a maybe last year. Oh, that was two years ago. Maybe, could have been two years, yeah, ago, two years ago, but it wasn't that much. The Man, big one was like almost 30 some years ago, almost 40 years ago. So in about 40 years, this is the worst it's been. Yes. Glad to see the entourage show up, but wondering how exactly it'll help with drying out their homes. What's, what's going to happen? We need to see something happen. Now, while we were over there, some of the neighbours told us they saw a streets and sanitation truck nearby helping lift out some couches and other heavy items that didn't survive. We also personally spotted the water department as well, so it certainly seems like the city crews are out and about trying to be everywhere all at once. We're live on the north side. Rona Tumulty, WGN News. Many parts of Cicero were left underwater by yesterday's heavy rains. Residents in the southwest suburbs spent last night and today cleaning up, pumping out their flooded basements. They say flooding is a reoccurring problem that's been happening for years. Local officials say federal funds are needed to fix the infrastructure, which would prevent future flooding.